been drinking. In the morning? Me, Chief? Huh. He's rented a law office here with some English lawyer dame claiming to run it. Stevenson. Was she with him, Benny? Yeah. And pretty. Say, Chief, I don't know how you ever had a daughter like Look, that. Look, can that daughter stop? I kept everybody from knowing about that for years, and I'm not going to let anyone know about it now. I, uh, I got a little bad news for you, Chief. The kid, Ellen, she wants to get married. So what's bad about that? The uh, point is, uh, the boy's the heir to some English lord, and Stevenson figures he can't let it go through. Who told you? Stevenson. He sent the others ahead and told me he was going to stop the wedding by telling the boy who she really is. Benny, I'm going to break my word. You are? Who to? To myself. The day I got out of prison, I swore I'd never use this gat again. Any other day you happen to have, please. Oh, Ellen, oh, wonderful. <laughs> you know, I still can't believe you're really going to marry me. Do you think we'll be happy? What a question. Deliriously, idiotically. <laughs> People will queue up in the street to point at us. Come <laughs> <laughs> on, darling. Hi, Dad. Hey, what's up? What is it, Dad? I've got something to say to you, Ellen, and I don't quite know how to say it. What is it? You know, your mother and I have always tried to make you happy and to give you everything we could. Ellen, you do know that, don't you? Why, yes. If we've ever denied you anything, it's been for your own good. Dad, why did you come to the point? I can't let you marry Henry Mellor, Ellen. What do you mean? I'm going to marry him. You must put him right out of your life, dear. I'm thinking of your future happiness. But what do you have against him? That's not the reason, Ellen. What is? You can't just tell me a thing like that and not even explain. I can't even explain. But take it from me. I can stop this marriage, and if you force me to, I shall. Go ahead and try. Just try. I'm sorry, darling, but I must. Henry and I are in love and we're going to be married, understand? Nothing you can do can stop it. I can stop it. If you do, if you do, I... <laughs> Please excuse my number one son. He always gets very nervous when he sees a pretty girl. Just giving her a light and a friendly smile, Pop. To observing eye, a fun father. Less friendly smile. More old Chinese wolf grin. Please excuse me, Susan. Your room number 719, Mr. Chen. Oh. It's an honor to have you with us, Mr. Chan. Oh, it makes me very happy. Excuse me for asking, but are you in London on business? To do some detecting? No, but on most important business in civilized man's life. Pleasure. 
Pavlet from indicator elevator not working. What's gone wrong, I wonder? We had the engineers looking it over yesterday. Unmistakable sound of pistol shot in confined area. Where's Ned's state case? It's over there. Oh, he's detecting. Also, call police. Yes, sir. Who is this gentleman? He's my father, Herbert Stevenson. I, I found him when I got into the elevator. Don't look at me that way. I didn't shoot him. He's my father. Have made no accusation. Take this note. Also gone to Scotland Yard. Hurry. Yes, Pop. Bad wound, Doctor, but still alive. Thank you. I'm exceedingly sorry, Miss Stevenson. However, you may rest in Suite 151 until police arrive. Go on, Miss Stevenson. I was in my room when I heard it. I didn't even know it was a shot. Then I went out and I... <laughs> I won't have you bully her like this. Of course she wouldn't harm her father. Oh, Mom! I'm sorry, Mrs. Stevenson, but I'm afraid I have to ask these questions. Will you uh, stand clear of the young lady, please? You've nothing to worry about, Ellen. I'm right here beside you. Better answer. I'll, I'll try. Now, according to the maid who happened to be passing along the corridor, you and your father were quarreling violently. Yes, it's true. You fought with Daddy, honey. Well, I never knew you to do that before. Possibly, light could be shed by knowing cause of quarrel. It was about Henry, my fiancé, Henry Mellor. My father didn't want me to marry him. He, he wanted me to break it off. When I said no, he said he'd have to do it himself, and that he knew how to. Did your father produce any reason for not desiring marriage? No, he wouldn't. That's what made me so mad. He just kept saying he'd stop us marrying. Don't get any ideas there's anything wrong with Henry. He's a very nice young man. Good family, too. Why, well, he's Lord Mayor's heir. Please forgive me, but is perhaps Brute on other leg something wrong with daughter? How dare you? Why, Ellen's good enough to marry anybody. I don't care who. Yes? Yes? I see. Good. Your husband has been taken to Queen's Hospital, Mrs. Stevenson. He's still unconscious, but they're doing all they can. I want to go to him now. I'm afraid there's nothing you can do, madam. He's having the best of care, but the doctors insist that he mustn't be disturbed. Surely my place is beside him. I need your help, Mrs. Stevenson. Don't you want to find out who tried to kill him? I don't know how I can help you. I was in my room, lying down. I... I get migraine badly. When I heard the gun go off. I never dreamt it was anything to do with Herbert. I know this is a very trying time for you, Mrs. Stevenson. But could you perhaps tell me when you last saw your husband? Well, let me see. I went to lie down around four. He was right here then, answering the mail with Lisa Blanchard. Who is this lady? Lisa, my husband's English law partner. She's going to open an office for him here eventually. Naturally, they work together very closely. When did this lady make departure? I haven't an idea, Mr. Chan. I... I took some pills, things my doctor gives me for these headaches, and went straight off to sleep. It was the shot that woke me, really. I sincerely hope pains are no longer in your head. Well, no. It, it's fine now. But one thing puzzles me. Yes? Your husband, when shot, was wearing full evening clothes. Did he not go to your bedroom for a change? We don't occupy the same room, Mr. Chan. My husband is a very considerate man. He. He wants me to have absolute quiet. When I get these dreadful headaches of mine. Ah, oh, yes. Wilma. I've just heard I came right away. How is he? He's not... No, no, dear. But he's unconscious still. And they won't let me see him. And what makes you think you can prevent her from seeing her husband? Might I ask who are you? I'm Lisa Blanchard, Herbert Stevenson's partner. Now, please answer my question. I am not here to answer questions, miss. But in point of fact, the doctors have performed a very delicate brain operation and insist that no one is admitted. And now I'm going to ask some questions. Really? 
Well, as Mrs. Stevenson's lawyer, I refuse to allow her to submit to your questions at this moment. I have a small suggestion, please. Who is this man? I'm a retired detective named Charlie Chan. Charlie Chan? I'm sorry, Mr. Chan, I didn't realize. A few questions answered now might prevent arrest of unfortunate victim's daughter. Lisa, they think I did it. I found him, you see. They must be crazy. She adores her father. Don't worry, Pet, they won't arrest you. They wouldn't be stupid enough. But you'd better cooperate, I suppose. And Inspector, no signed statements until I say so. You're too kind. Who is it? This is the gun that wounded Herbert Stevenson. Do any of you recognize it? I never saw it before. Nor me. I, I saw it beside Father in the, in the elevator, but never before. Did you handle it? I, I picked it up, sure. I, I don't know why. Instinctive, I guess. But I didn't shoot Dad. I'm afraid I must ask you to accompany me to Scotland Yard, Miss Stevenson. You're arresting her? No, but should she refuse to come with me, I have the power to do so. Before you make a complete fool of yourself, why don't you find out who Herbert was expecting here at 7 o'clock? Who? I don't know, but he was as edgy as a cat on hot bricks about whoever it was. Mrs. Stevenson, do you know who was coming to visit your husband? Please, information might be very important. Yes, I knew. It was Nate Pelletier. You are certain? Know this fellow, Charlie? Yes, indeed, Inspector. And I find call a strange company for a respectable legal gentleman. Pelletier was well-known racketeer in America some years ago, and humble self had part in securing his arrest and deportation. You sure did, Charlie. You sure did. Yeah. But I don't hold any grudge. You're just doing your job. Sorry about coming in the back way, folks. But I'm kind of allergic to guys in blue uniforms. There's a heap of them out front. Well, Mr. Pelletier, long time no see. But your unexpected visit might prove most opportune. This Stevenson's kid? Yes, that is correct. Ellen. That's your name, isn't it? Ellen? Yes. You know, I've, uh, I've been listening out there, and you, you guys got this thing all wrong. This kid didn't shoot Stevenson. I shot him. Well, like finding real chicken in cafeteria soup, your confession is most surprising. May I ask your motive for shooting? Racketeers don't usually need a motive for murder. However, I would like answer to same. Stevenson was blackmailing me. I don't believe it. And reason for blackmail? Well, he was the guy who worked out the commutation of my sentence years ago. But he held back some facts about my income tax, which could have sent me straight back in again. And demanded payment from you for keeping silent about same. He bled me white. So I wrote his name on a slug. Okay, pal. I'm ready when you are. Sorry I hurt your father, kid. Guess the only guy I ever really hurt in my life was your father. It isn't true. Herbert's too fine to stoop to blackmail. You must know a gentleman very well to be so sure. I do. He's a great man and deserves the best from life and... I have a high regard for him. Yes, I believe you have, Miss Blanchard. Wilmer, I'll be running along. I don't think there's anything I can do now. All right, dear. Thanks for your help. Bye, Ellen. Poor Lisa. Crazy about Herbert. When these self-sufficient career women fall, they really fall. And your husband? I'm afraid he doesn't see the ground she's on. Oh, he admires her. We both do, but... Mr. Chan, can I get right over to the hospital now? I regret, but doctor has issued orders. Nobody admitted, even family. Why, it's outrageous. I understand. But doctor's orders cannot be disobeyed. Now, please excuse me, and do not worry. Pop! Pop! Sorry I took so long. Oh, uh, little Chinese girl you saw in lobby, hmm? No, seriously. There's no license for that gun in England. Oh? 
In that case, we will go to Rome. I must write cable for you to send immediately to America. Sure. But is it true that they arrested a guy called Palatier for the shooting? Quite correct. It is? Well, then why bother with the gun anymore? Number one son should remember old saying about inadvisability of hanging dog merely because he has bad name. Well, just do a quick, neat job, Charlie. Now, what are you grinning at? Wasn't it a quick, neat job? Unfortunately, Cablegram just arrived from New York has dropped big monkey ranch in machinery. Firearm license issued to Lisa Blanchard. 364 Madison Avenue, New York. By heck, that was the gun that the shooting was done with. Exactly. I think maybe we want a word with Miss Lisa Blanchard. Now. What right have you got to come busting in here at this hour? Sorry, miss, but we've got our duty to do and a few questions to ask. Unless, of course, you'd prefer to come down to the yard. No, I wouldn't. What questions? I understood you to say that you'd never seen this gun before. Well, I... Uh... And yet a license was issued last year in New York under your name, Miss Blanchard. Perhaps you'd care to explain. I'm sorry, it is mine. But I had nothing to do with the shooting, I swear it. I kept it here in this drawer. It was there a few days ago, I saw it. Someone must have stolen it. I couldn't believe my eyes when you produced it and said it was the gun that... I was scared to say it was mine. I see. I swear I'm telling the truth. How long have you known Stevenson? Not long. 18 months, maybe. How long since he made you his partner? Since he started his London office. Before that, I was training in New York for American law. I'd already qualified here. And when he asked me to run his London office, naturally, I, I was delighted. I see. Forgive me, please. Do you have many visitors here? Yes, quite a few. Mr. Palatier, perhaps? No. I'd never even heard of him until today. Does Ellen Stevenson come here? Yes. But you're not suggesting... Her parents? Yes. Most grateful. No more questions. Mr. Chan, how is he? They wouldn't tell me anything at the hospital. Condition most serious, Miss Blanchard. Could I possibly see him? Unfortunately, no one permitted, not even family. Perhaps later. Hey, it's obviously that Blanchard dame, Pop. Oh, you think so, huh? Sure, she fell for Stevenson, but he didn't fall for her. It's a cinch. You know, my son, your powers of observation are becoming more and more brilliant. Oh, uh, what are you like that for? Don't you agree with me? Maybe so, but Miss Blanchard left before shooting. Yeah, that's what she said. No, Dorman said he got her a cab. Oh. Where are you going? To visit most charming young lady. Well, let me go with you. No, no. Alone. I can't understand why they still won't let me see him, Mr. Chan. I'm his wife, after all. And we've always been so close. But I understand your unfortunate husband is not yet conscious. So they tell me. Just to say my place is beside him. Don't you think so, Mr. Chan? Yes, I have always considered the sight of a loved one most beneficial to sick persons. I knew you'd think that, Mr. Chan. Can't you make that stodgy inspector person let me see Herbert? I might do, perhaps in return for your confirmation, a very important fact. What fact? That Ellen is not daughter of you and your husband at all. But how did you know? Simple law of heredity. You and your husband have blue eyes, Ellen has brown eyes. Very rare for two persons with blue eyes to have brown-eyed child. Well, I never knew that. But yes, we adopted Ellen when she was two. She herself doesn't know we're not her real parents. Then please permit small conjecture. Ellen is daughter of ex-gangster, Nate Pelletier. Why, you're a magician, Mr. Chen. I find logic far more useful in crime detection than magic. Therefore, I have sought logical reason why ex-racketeer should accuse himself of crime he did not commit. But I'm not so sure he didn't do it, Mr. Chen. Indeed. He threatened my husband, you know. Because Herbert was going to tell Ellen's fiancé about her birth. Thank you very much. 
But, Mr. Chen, what about your promise? As agreed, I shall endeavor to arrange for you to see your husband. Do your very best. Don't you realize, when he recovers his senses, if I'm by his side, he may be able to tell me who did this terrible thing. I assure you, this realization is very present in my mind. Thank you again. Uh, yes, Inspector. While taking a cooling shower, I had a very good idea. Would appreciate if you would grant Mrs. Stevenson's request to visit sick husband. Yes. I shall explain when we meet. Thank you very much, Inspector. Say, what was all that about? You will learn in due course. Meanwhile, I need your help, my son. Sure, anything. What can I do? First of all, listen. Tonight... unconscious, I'm afraid, but we expect him to come to any minute now. You'll be very quiet, Mrs. Stevenson, won't you? Of course, Nurse. And you'll ring the bell if there's the slightest change. Yes, indeed. Abbott. Poor darling. Your poor head. Waking up. No, darling. No. You mustn't wake up. Ever. <laughs> Holy smokes! I'll get danger money. That dame's strong. It is said hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. Your husband meant to leave you, did he not? Yes. After all these years. After all we've been through. Lisa Blanchard. Lisa. How could I fight against her? So young. So brilliant. So everything he wanted. I couldn't bear to lose him. So you stole her gun to make us think she killed him. When that failed, you tried to paint the case against Pelletier even blacker. But Pelletier did not threaten your husband. He had no chance to. Your unpleasant task, Inspector. Wilbur Stevenson, it is my duty to arrest you for the murder of your husband, Herbert Stevenson. Murder? Yes, madam, your husband died without regaining consciousness. <laughs> I guess a guy doesn't have to go to the wedding to toast the bride, does he? Say, how did she look anyway? Boy, she was dreamy. What about him? Do you think he'll be good to her? I didn't look at him much. Uh, but he's okay, I guess. Yeah. Well, all I can say is he'd better be good to her. Thank you. Now, Mr. Pelletier, I can safely say young man will be very good husband to much loved bride. Well, here's to my kid. Bless her. Now, who the heck can that be? Very simple to open door and find out. Yeah. Sure. Can we come in? In my country, it's very nice saying that beautiful woman becomes thousandfold more beautiful when she wears jewel of kindness. Thank you for coming. But I really wanted to, Mr. Chan. Mr. Chan told me everything. I wanted to come and say thank you for what you tried to do for me. And for you to meet your son-in-law, who wants to meet you very much. My father, darling. I'm glad to know you, sir. Twenty years ago was my unfortunate duty to prove you guilty of a crime. Today it has been my great pleasure to bring you happiness. Mm -hmm.